There haven't been any full blood in Filipino that has been to the NBA, and I just want to be the, the first one, and I just want to show everyone that we can also make it. My dad always told me to watch films of uh, Hakeem Olajuwon, Tim Duncan, those guys, and uh, I just kept watching, you know, every day. My dad was in the professional leagues in the Philippines, so, you know, he just taught me almost everything he knows about the game. And we always started with footwork, you know, how to make uh, easy shots. You know, you hear seven foot, and sometimes that means 6'10", 6'11", legit 7'2", so it's just a breath of fresh air to work with somebody whose goals are so in reach, but also knows and is willing to put the work in that it's going to take to get there. Basketball is really a religion to the Philippines, and uh, every time you go out of your house, you'll see a court here, a court there. You just see everyone playing basketball, and that's just how we love the, the sport in our country. He's definitely like a type of basketball player that will pass. Like he'll, he'll look for you. He's not a selfish player. You know, the mentality in the States when you're a foreign player with hype and accolades coming in, People want to play against you. You know, everybody has their goals and everybody's trying to get on, so what better way to get recruited to a college than saying, hey, I had X amount of points and rebounds and blocks against Kai Soto, and here's my film against him. I think he realizes that now, and he kind of brings it to his opponents that are waiting for it to come to him. The first few months, he's just getting used to, like, the, like, the culture, the people, and the basketball here and uh, I'm, just, I'm just very happy that I, got, I have my whole family here. I didn't really know a lot of things about college recruitment because uh, in the Philippines I was still at the 10th grade so I wasn't really like focused on any college but when I came here you know I, I just got a little shocked that things are happening so fast and uh, I just have to be ready for it. Uh, I see Kai as somebody with a world of potential. Um, and, and the sky is really the limit, but also, you know, there's a short time to get there and has to be deliberate in, in making those goals achievable. The training here in the States is different because they really like focused and my trainer really dedicated themselves to help me get better as a player. One thing that we wanted to really work on, getting him to be more NBA ready, uh, which means, you know, can he handle the NBA um, pace of the game, physicality, um, can he use his length uh, in a meaningful way? Does he stretch the floor consistently? Um, can he guard players? Can he guard in the post? Can he guard off switches? Coach Chuck Person, Coach Rob, Jeremiah, they've been helping me a lot. They're helping me prepare. And uh, I, just, I just get my confidence from my workouts, from my practices. I think for him um, to come, become more physical, a lot of it's going to take some work at P3, which he's working at every day. They do a great job, um, kind of sports science and, and strength and conditioning to develop them off the court, which I think is really, really important. Here at P3, we assess our athletes so that we know what the needs are. So with Kai, I think from from this point on, it's just a matter of continuing to develop his strength, develop that power. He's going to be playing and matching up against guys who are bigger than him, so making sure that he is able to match that intensity on the court but also making sure that he stays healthy to, to be able to compete year-round. That was a moment in time for him at Basketball Without Borders where all 30 NBA teams are there. There's high-level kids that are his age that are there, and he's able to see, you know, I didn't make the, the first team. I wasn't MVP. I wasn't on the first team all camp. Um, and so what are the things I need to do to improve? And so now you're able to look at positive feedback from GM, scouts. Uh, it was great. Uh, I, had to, I had the opportunity to play against the uh, best players all over the world and uh, to be coached by great coaches. What are the gaps? What's going to help him get there? And I think he took it to heart. You know, I think he saw kind of where he was and was able to size himself up a little bit. And now he's able to take a step forward because he's, he's grounded in reality. He's not caught kind of in the hype world. You know, potential is something people talk about a lot, right? Potential, potential, potential. There's always a point though where you have to start turning a corner and potential has to become reality. And for him, he's starting to, to approach that phase. And I think he understands that. And so as long as he continues to move forward and progress, got every, every opportunity in the world to be a, a good NBA player. My ultimate dream is to make it to the NBA and I also want to represent the Philippines on international tournaments. I just want to show that 
Philippines is part of the basketball world. I appreciate those people who follow me and my journey, knowing that all my uh, fellow Filipinos from my country, you know, supporting me and uh, following me. And I just use it as a motivation, uh, inspiration, just to work even harder to make them proud.